YouTube, how you doing? Hillman here. Happy July the 4th. I hope you had a great holiday yesterday. Yesterday was a mad affair for me, so I didn't get up a normal SPU Friday update, but uh, doing family stuff. Had a great time last night, swimming, grilling, drinking beer, smoking cigars, hanging out with family. It doesn't get any better than that, and today is going to be a repeat of that. My daughter is down from Oklahoma, and uh, she brought her boyfriend, maybe more, uh, and they're coming over this afternoon. We're going to do some more grilling, some more beer drinking, and some more cigar smoking. That is a good weekend, so I'll have to have Sunday to recover all day Sunday before I go back to work Monday. I hope everybody had a good July the 4th and you got to spend time with the ones that you love and got to do what you wanted to do. I hope your uh, past week that went by up until yesterday, since everybody surely had July the 4th off, uh, was a great week. The pipe that I'm smoking right here is the pipe that I mentioned in a video that I put up a couple of weeks ago and I uh, was talking about a pipe that my grandfather owned. It was made in the 50s and the thing I remember about it most when I was a kid was it had an elephant on the stem. Well I was fortunate enough while I was looking at estate pipes on eBay to find one identical to it. I was so happy and there was only a few minutes left on it. Got it for a song and uh, got freight, uh, real fast shipping on it and the pipe was in excellent shape. Uh, no teeth marks in it. Uh, the stem has a little bit of oxidation in it. Nice little bulldog, Rhodesian style. Uh, this is a Kaiko. These are made, were made in Tanzania in the 50s and 60s. And this one is identical to the one that my grandfather had. This got a Meerschaum line bowl. The Meerschaum bowl lining in it is in perfect shape. You can see how clean it is. No cracks. It is a great smoking little pipe. Let me hold this up there and let me see. Hopefully you can see that there. You can see that little bitty elephant right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It looks like you can. Of course, the one that my grandfather had, that was all filled in with white. And this one's worn out a little bit. But uh, this is a great short little smoker. Nice and light. I love this pipe. I lit this pipe up, I lit this pipe up, and every time I light, pipe, light it up, it reminds me of my grandfather smoking this one. This is the first Meerschaum lined pipe I've ever owned. I've never owned a Meerschaum pipe, period. And I'm going to have to say that I'm going to have to save my pennies. I'm going to have to get me a Meerschaum pipe because this does lend itself to a unique uh, smoking experience. Just flavor wise, I mean, you know. Fireworks don't go off, rainbows go over your head, and unicorns and jackalopes run around whenever you smoke it, but it's a great smoking little pipe. And I am really happy that I was able to find one. So, there you go. Sometimes you just get really, really lucky on eBay. And I love buying estate pipes. I've said it from one of my very first videos when I joined the YouTube pipe community. Come getting close now to two, two years ago that uh, I love buying estate pipes. I like to clean them up, smoke them, and think about the people that owned them before I did. And what their lives were like. You know, were they happy? Were they sad? You know, just that kind of stuff. I'm kind of sentimental like that. Because I'm sure they probably don't care where they went. <laughs> so what I want to talk about now is, is YouTube and their BS music copyright stuff. This is going to be a quick rant, but it's a rant nonetheless because I've been nailed for it four times now. I've only used music four times in my videos. And that music all came from a software program that I purchased that randomly generates computer music and it's all instrumental, there's no lyrics, there's no nothing. And I got nailed for it on, again for the fourth time on my ham radio video that I put up. So they give you all kinds of options. 
You can complain about it and say it's not copyrighted, you can do all this. The simplest thing to do is just de delete it, re-upload it with some different music. So what I did this time was I went to their uh, creation music files that they have, their free music, and uh, downloaded a song off of that, put it into the place of where my randomly generated music was, and just to see if they would flag me. So if they do flag me for it, they can blame themselves because I got it from them. So screw you, YouTube. God, that makes me so mad. So I caution you to have stuff on in the background. Anything. I don't pay attention to the copyright stuff. You know, do you put their, you know, a reference to the artist and all that stuff? I don't know how it works. I don't know and I don't care. I ought to be able to put up what I want, when I want, about what I want. It's my channel. But I don't pay for it, so there you go. <laughs> so anyway guys, just want to show you this pipe. Get that off my chest about the whole copyright thing. So uh Hope you guys have a really great weekend. I hope you got a good Saturday and a relaxing Sunday plan. Ready to hit it and going back to work Monday. The guys on the East Coast, uh, our family's praying for you guys for uh, Hurricane Arthur. I hope they get your power back on soon and that your family uh, and family and friends are all uh, okay and uh, you're not suffering too much from all the rain and stuff. So guys, I hope you have a uh, great weekend. Hope you guys have a blessed week next week, as always. And until we share another bowl together, grow a beard and peace. <laughs>